Hello everybody, Michael Crampton joining you again for another video and today's video is titled Maintaining Posture Whilst Qualifying Prospects Interesting subject this one You ever felt nervous or uncomfortable with a prospect? Hmm. A feeling maybe um, that you haven't quite got it together at the time when you make the phone call? If you have, I can certainly relate to it because I've certainly felt like that in the past so let me ask you a question would you would you like to learn how not to be so nervous with your prospects sure the answer is pretty obvious yes of course you would look hang around for a couple of minutes and uh, I'll share with you what I believe is the answer to to maintaining that posture whilst you're qualifying your prospects okay so let's do a little bit of a role play here so let's just say you're you're calling your prospect on the phone and as we all know sometimes the phone can be pretty heavy we don't really want to pick it up and of course the longer we take to pick it up sometimes the heavier it seems to get but anyway we eventually get around to picking the phone up but lo and behold what's happening then is your butterflies are all flying around in all directions in your stomach even before you even before the you know the prospect has answered the call and as it's ringing out uh, you you listen to to the ringtone and as as the call's ringing 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 um, in your mind uh, you're still rehearsing your lines of, of what you're basically going to say when the prospect picks the phone up uh, when all of a sudden you hear a voice saying hello and it's probably at the moment when the prospect says hello you're probably just at that time uh, in the call when you think oh you know don't answer don't answer I'm, I want to put the phone down I want to put the phone down but anyway they say hello so uh, well now now <clears throat> so you can't hang up now of course so they're they're already on the phone so despite you being as nervous as, as hell and that's understandable we've we've all been there and done that uh, you managed to get that question out to your prospect and of course that question as I mentioned yesterday is you ask that question are you open to looking at a project on the side that wouldn't interfere with whatever you're currently doing and of course they're going to say yes yeah sure of course and when they say yes of course all of a sudden you you might start to feel that um, you feel a little bit better and you're not quite so nervous and the butterflies are starting to settle down you think oh great someone's going to listen to my information which is good i mean that's how we want you to feel but then all of a, but then all of a sudden you go to ask that question well, you've asked the question are you open and they said yes and you then say to them look I'd like to um, offer you uh, some information I'd like to send that to you at, at which point the prospect then says oh look <laughs> I don't want to be part of any of those network marketing things or those scam things and at that point uh, it's important for you to remember and this is where the posture part of it comes in where it's important for you to remember not to be defensive okay have I made that mistake before? Of course I have. Of course I have. Not, you don't need to get defensive. However, it is very, very important at this point in time to maintain that posture. And to do that, you simply need to call them out by saying, by saying this. Look, um, you just said a moment ago you were open to looking at a side project. Okay, so that was great. Now all of a sudden when I offer to give you the information, you you know, something's changed so you know what's changed ask them that question what what's changed from me asking you are you open to then me ask saying to you that I'm going to send you some information something's changed so what is it that's changed if the prospect insists at that time that they're not interested in the business side don't push the point it's just not worth it so just leave it alone just simply say look that that's great then um, maybe um, as the business side is not for you okay uh, like you like to would you like to become a customer of ours and save and make some money from 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 the free membership okay so you see the difference there rather than uh, jumping in and being defensive and then getting yourself all in the knot and all irritable and rattled which I guess in most cases the public at large that's exactly what they're expecting to hear from people like you and I so don't go down that path just take a, a quick breath capture yourself before you start blur blurting out all the defensive stuff and just retain that posture ask that question like I just mentioned and you see the difference there the difference in the approach and the public will say oh well that's a little bit different I didn't 
you know, quite expect you to say that. And they may even say to you, well, yeah, okay, yeah, you're, you're probably right. So send me the information and I'll have a look, okay? And that's a far better result than had you been defensive, jump down the throat and, and try and prove them wrong. So that's basically how to maintain that posture. Just a fairly simple uh, ch change of words can just help you have that posture, maintain that posture through that phone call. And uh, I'm sure you'll find, as I have from my own experience, that uh, you'll get some better results from maintaining that posture just like that. Okay, look, I hope that call has been of some value to you. Um, if you'd like some further information or some further help, uh, by all means drop me a, an email and I'll put that address at the bottom of this video. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day and we'll catch you again tomorrow. Thanks for taking the time to listen. Bye now.